Hello everyone, once again welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Umesh Prajapati and uh, in this video I am going to show you how to configure link aggregation protocol in FortiGate Firewall along with Cisco Switch, right? So let's get started without any further delay. So now I am going to configure management IP in FortiGate Firewall, right? Which is connected to port 10, right? This is the management PC, right? So now I'm going to take console of FortiGate Firewall. First of all, username, admin and password one to three. Config system global. Right now, I'm going to set host name of what you get for all right. Set host name FGT for what you get for all right. So, this interface is connected to the port 10, right, which is the management port. So, config system interface delete port 10. Sorry, port 10 config system interface edit port 10 set mode static set IP 192.168.79.2 slash 24 set allow access ping HTTP HTTPS telnet SSH right then set description fgt firewall right so let's check whether i'm able to ping management uh, ip or not this is correct to do the physical pc right okay not one sorry 192.168.79.1 yes i'm able to ping this ip now i'm going to take the take the gui of for ticket firewall which is connected to the management pc Yes, I'm able to access UI of a ticket firewall, right? So as you can see that here I have didn't configured anything, right? So let me show you accept management and uh, IP address, right? This IP address recently I have configured, right? So now I'm going to configure uh, management IP, sorry, WAN IP, right? This port one and port two is connected to the WAN and WAN link, right? So this is the one interface. Elias is going to be ISP one, right? I'm going to assign IP address one ninety two dot one sixty eight one dot two less twenty eight, right? I'm going to allow only administrative access thing. Then okay. Now I'm going to assign IP address of the secondary ISP. This is the ISP2. Then 
rule is going to be when IP address is going to be 192.168.2.2 slash 28. As you can see that uh, IP address has been assigned for the both ISP1 and ISP2, right? Now I am going to configure this IP address on the router. Interface Ethernet low by zero. This is the description ISP1 IP address is going to be 192168 1.1255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255255
and uh, in case of one link goes down then there will not be uh, traffic will be disrupted right so you gig gig slash zero right gig internet zero slash one right this is the two port which is connected to the forty eight five volt right so interface range gig internet zero slash zero one switch port mode switch port turn encapsulation dot one q switch port mode turn right then channel group right now i am creating ether channel right lsp configuration on switch right channel group one mode active right mode for each channel group one mode active so channel Channel protocol is going to be LSCP, right? So let's check whether port channel is up or not. So if the channel summary, as you can see, that port is is still down, right? So D means down, yes means suspended, right? So this brief. Port is still down. I I think port is down or at uh, forty eight and right forty eight firewall. So let's configure either channel and the rest of the things as we are like uh, on forty eight firewall. Right then this port will come right. So now I am going to configure LCP configuration on forty eight firewall. So for LCP configuration, you have to go to network. Sorry, interfaces. Then you have to create interface. So interfaces name name is going to be. I am keeping the interface name. Yes, sorry. Port channel, right? You can give the any of the name as per your requirement, but as per in my topology, I am giving the name is port channel, right? Port channel is one, right? So LCP is going to be you can see keep it LCP or rest of the things, but right now I am going to leave these things. Then there is an option, right? If you have to configure either channel on port gate. Firewall. Then you have to select eight zero two dot three ad aggregate. Right. This is the aggregate protocol. Right. This is. I'm going to configure LCP. So as you can see that. So port three. Right. Port three and port four. Right. This port port three and port four will be member of either channel. Right. So port three and four. Or is going to be mem member of either channel, right? So role is going to be LAN, and uh, I I'm not going to assign any of the IP address of this interface, right? I mean port channel, right? I'm not going to assign any IP address of this interface port channel, right? I'm going to allow thing, right? And rest of the things I'm going to leave. Just wait a minute because it is taking time. As you can see, that port channel has been configured. So right now, I am going to configure SBI. Right, I mean sub interface. I am going to configure on this port channel, right, which is connected to the LAN. 
तो एंड गोइंग टू असाइन नेम इज गोइंग टू बी सब इंटरफेस राइट एस वी आई राइट तो टाइप इज गोइंग टू बी एग्रीगेट राइट एंड गोइंग टू कीप दिस टाइप राइट तो इंटरफेस मेंबर इज गोइंग टू बी so now i am going to give the interface name sbi right elias i am going to leave right now type is going to be vlan because i am going to configure sbi right sub so interface configuration in fortigate firewall right an interface i am going to keep this interface port channel which is earlier i have configured for ether channel right and vlan id i am going to assign vlan 10 right which is the uh, belongs to the database department right and role is going to be lan and as i am going to assign ip address 10.1.1 slash 24 right so i am going to assign administrative access is going to be s in ssh right then okay now now i am going to configure secondary some interface configuration on fortigate firewall for it department right yes we are in for 20 million right and uh, you can see that uh, it is already selected the uh, type and uh, interface name and villain id is going to be villain 20 which is belong to the belongs to the it department right then not one not two dot one plus twenty four Yes, being an SS and going to allow administrative access. Okay, right. So if you see here, as you can see that I am going to change the SSL name. Sorry, delete. Okay, so now you can see that uh, two SSI seven interfaces has been configured. in port channel under the port channel member right so this is the method if you have to configure lscp then you have to use this method right so now i am going to configure policy right so without policy or rule you are not able to ping internet or uh, where you want to ping right if you want to ping anything then you have to configure if you want to reach anything then you have to have policy right so i am going to assign for it department if it department wants to access internet then it can easily access if you configure the policy right yes it right i'm going to assign it name is it department incoming interface will be the this one svi right vlan 20 for uh, it department right outgoing interface will be st1 right and uh, source and to keep all right now and destination also going to be all services also is going to be all net is going to be enabled because this user i mean it department it department needs to access internet right as you can see that uh, 
policy has been configured, I think. Right. So if this user, I mean, uh, IT department wants to communicate to the DB department, then you have to also configure the policy, right? VLAN, sorry, IT to DB, right? Incoming interface will be VLAN 20, right? This is the VLAN 10, right? Source is going to be all destination annual. Net is going to be disabled because land to land communication here. So before that, uh, I have to configure also static route default routes toward the one and one links. So go to network. There is a static route. Right. So now I'm going to create a static routes. Gateway is going to be 192.168.1.1. Interface is going to be the port one, right? Rest of the things I'm going to leave. As you can see, that default route has been configured. Let's see the communication is going to be happen or not. This is the VLAN 10, right? 10.1.2.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.
And you can see that traffic is dropping, right? So let's spin from here. From this machine. In ten dot one dot one dot two. As you can see that from here, I am able to ping right from the database department. So for it, I have to configure the uh, second third policy, right? So if let me configure the third policy. from VLAN 22 VLAN 10, right? This is belong to the, from database department to the VLAN 22 VLAN, sorry, VLAN 10 to VLAN 20, I mean DB department to IT department, department right? Incoming interface will be VLAN 10, right? Outgoing interface will be VLAN 20. Source, I'm going to have all. As you can see that policy has been configured, right? So, DB department to IT department, right? So, let's check whether I'm able to ping or not from the database department, right? As you can see that at this time, I'm able to ping, right? To the IT department. So, my con concern is that if any of the links, right, in between Gig Ethernet 0 and Gig Ethernet 1 uh, is uh, get fails. So what will happen, right? So there will nothing will happen, right? So just wait a minute. I am going to ping continuous ping. As you can see that. Traffic is continuously going on. So now I am going to let me show you at this time, right? So if I go to the switch and down the Ethernet slash zero, right? Then traffic will not be disrupted, right? Because we have configured ether channel right so let's check one packet is dropping So interface status right port can is also off. Everything is off, but still traffic is popping. Right. So Yes, as you can see that traffic is going through this link, right? Let's check. So interface brief. As you can see that gig Ethernet slash zero, right? Zero is down, right? But still traffic is not dropping, right? So as you can see that. 
here it is also going right smoothly it is going right so both department are able to access to each other right so that this is the method that's how you can configure ether channel on fortigate firewall as well as this goes to this right so thank you for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe my channel so that i can enhance my technical skills so thank you for watching this video